See the stumbling blocks, I just slipped on cracks It's commandment plus, so we need to stay on track Your heart as a house at mercy, put it on my back One body but you have a shy, no so we can't move slack Yeah, but mighty, mighty teachings from the brother man Mighty Agbab, yeah Because everyone's trying to do their little bit that they can, you know uh, get me um, uh, Philippians 2 and 12 because everyone needs to do their own, oh, everyone needs to put their work in, innit? You know, when you come into this truth, if the, like the brother was saying, the Most High gives wisdom to those who fear Him. So when you have that wisdom, you need to use it, man. You need to be able to come out here and express it amongst the nation. Get me a. Uh, 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 yeah, and uh, also do your words. Your words can be anything within this truth. You can be a teacher. You can be a reader. You can be someone that does music for the most right. right. It's your tangible words. As long as your, your gospel has been mentioned and it's, it's to wake up the nation of, uh, of our people and to exalt the most high's name above all other nations. That's a tangible work, man. That's, that's, that's right, man. That's right. Whether, whether you're holding posts, whether you're holding the upper sign, doing the camera, the incense, reader, teacher, we're all one body, man. We're all part of the same body, you know, that is that is here to teach our people the truth, man. Because like it says, like that was the in the um, Ten Commandments, it says, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. My older. What's that? My older. What do you mean? You recognize my face? Not really. Oh, you're young, like that. Eh? No. China, man. Scott. Oh, Arr 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 Later, man. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. I mean, I'm Ali Selassie, eh? No, no, we don't deal with no roster, man. We're no, but I'm mean, a rose yet. What's that? Fan of Abraham? Yeah, yeah, that's what we're out here teaching, that we are, we are the, the Israelites. And, uh, the, the, um, we believe in the God yeah, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. Not Israel. You, know? you made me proud, you know. Sorry? You made me proud. Bro, I'm trying to be out here and teach my people. Yeah, for where we come from, you made me proud, man. Listen, man. The most, it's all of the Most High, you get me? Nothing is off me, man. Everything is, every, anything that we do, get me an Ecclesiastes. But you're the man of love, like, yeah, you know, and you've got your respect being here, you know that? I'm trying to do this for the most high man, you know, it, and all what I used to do before, that means nothing to now man, I'm here trying to God serve blessings. the father, you get me? God blessings you, yeah. bless me, you get me bless, one, uh, bless a little touch on us, let's see what I do there. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good man, it's all good, solid, I feel solid, it's all good, but you, I never saw that coming, <laughs> man of joy. Um, uh, Matthew 24 and verse 14. Ma Matthew Slap chapter 24 yeah, and verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom yeah. shall be preached in the world yeah. for a witness unto all nations that shall, and then shall the end come. That's right. So this gospel has to be preached unto all nations, even Ishmael, even Kittim, even Esau, even they, even yeah, even Puttai, Hamite. They all need to hear the gospel, man. Because ah. then that's when the end is, the end shall come. You know? So, yeah. It's a book of Ecclesiastes. So basically, a, a, a guy just come up that I knew from back in the day, back in the worldly days, you know, and obviously he's going to say what he says, you know, he's obviously not from, from, from our background, he's not, a, he's not our brother, he's probably from Ishmael or Kittim, but you know, like I'm trying to tell him, we're, we're out here just for the most high, man, our people, we're trying to wake up our the so-called blacks, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, the Hispanics, to show them that the Most High chose them above right. all nations, man. So go and read that thing. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 9, verse 10. Bring it out! Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, yeah. do it with thy might. Do it what? Do, do it, it with, with thy might. might. That's right. So like the guy was saying, you know, like he's, he's proud of me, yeah, on a worldly thing from where I come from, innit? Because man was on the roads.
about, 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 it wasn't about that though. So the Most High gave me that wisdom and now I'm humbled myself and I'm trying now to, to show the, the people the same. So whatever we do, we have to do it with all that might, you know what I mean? For there is no word. Take them, shall receive mercy. That's right, man. So if you confess your sins and forsake them, you will have mercy, man. And that's the ultimately, the mercy is for, for the Israelites, man. The mercy is not for everybody. The mercy is not for all nations. Like the, like the church teaches, the Christians teach, you know? Uh, get me a wisdom of Solomon. Uh, hold that one. Wisdom of Solomon, 4 verse 15. Uh, 4 verse 15. We'll start at uh, 3 and verse 9. 3 and verse 9. And then skip to the 4. four. This is wisdom of Solomon, yeah. chapter 3, verse 9. Yeah. They that put their trust in him yeah. shall understand the truth. And that's, that's what we did when we started to fear the Most High. We put our trust in him and then he gave us understanding. Like it said in Psalms 111, verse 10. Go on. And such as be faithful in love yeah. shall abide with him. Yeah. For grace and mercy is to his sake. For what? For grace and, and mercy is to his saints. saints. So the grace and the mercy is for the saints of the Most High. You know, and you already know who the saints are. According to, um, what was it, Psalm 148 verse 44 verse 12. I can't even remember. It's like, so skip to 4 verse 15. 4 verse 15. Yeah. 4 verse 15. Yeah, go on. This the people saw and understood it not, yeah. neither laid they up this in yeah. their minds, yeah. that his grace and mercy is with his saints, yes. and that he has respect unto his chosen. Exactly, so again, so his grace and his mercy is to his saints, and just to confirm it and solidify it, is to his chosen. So you can't, you can't skip around that, man. You can't skip, how you doing sister, you alright? You believe in the Bible? No? Uh, what can I say to that? Yes, bro, how you doing? You alright? You're a king walking this earth, you know? Yeah? Keep the commandments, man. Um, uh, get me, uh, where was I? Um, yeah, Psalms 148 and verse 14. That's what it was. So, like, yeah, for, for, for mis misquoting it still. You know what I mean? But yeah, again, so grace, mercy is with his saints. And he has respect unto his chosen. Get me, um, I think it's uh, Isaiah 44. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is Psalms 148. Psalms 148 and verse 14. He also exalted with the horn of his people. Yeah. The praises, the praise of all his saints. Yeah. Even of the children of Israel. A people near unto him, praise the Yahweh. That's right, man. So that, that people, his, chose, his chosen and his grace and his uh, mercy is for his saints, which are the Israelites, yeah, man. Right. Do you know what I mean? That's it. This is pretty, pretty plain, but yeah, go on, get that one. And yeah, go on. Hey, one of them. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 8. Yeah. But thou Israel art my servant, yeah. Jacob whom I have chosen, That's right. the seed of Abraham my friend. That's right man, so it goes back to Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Yeah, Jacob was the Most High's chosen, yeah, he got the blessing and the birthright, you know. And that's it pretty much, you know. But go, go back to James now. Five Half an hour from my house. Yeah, so yeah, first of all, we need to confess our sins to the Most High and turn away from them. Like it said, like you brought out in Psalms 19 and verse 7, you need to convert yourself, man. You know, the way you convert yourself is to change from your ways, man. And the only way to do that is by keeping the law. You know, go on, read it. This is James chapter 5, verse 16. Yeah. Confess your faults one to another. And that's what we need to do as well. We need to confess our faults one to another. So that we can, you know, we can learn from each other. That we can, you know, someone else might do something that could help you and be your counsel for you to not go up. Go on, read. And pray one for another. 
Pray one for another, yeah, God. That ye may be healed. Yeah. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. That's right, man. So if you're keeping the laws that is a commandment and you've got brothers praying for you, man, the Most High says that that, that prayer availeth much. That prayer is going to be more, more to him than, than someone who's not really in this thing and that's being lukewarm. So that's why it's that this is why we need to get um, uh, Second Corinthians 13 verse 5. Yeah, that's why every day we need to do this, man. We need to examine ourselves. You know what I mean? Because the, the only way to better ourselves is by looking at ourselves, man. You know? And seeing where we're going off. This is Second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 5. Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith. Yeah. Prove your own selves. Yeah. Know okay, ye well. not your own selves, yep. how that Yehoshai and Mashiach is in you, except ye be reprobate. Exactly, so we need to prove ourselves every day, man. How you doing, brother? You are right. We came up before, innit? We gave you the flyer, didn't we? Yeah, so did you watch watch any videos? Did you learn anything? I mean, I'm going to church. You're going to church? Yeah. Yeah, so when do you go to church? I serve the Lord. So yeah. I'm, I'm set up in the church, Saturday, Sunday, I work for him. Yes, that's, that's exactly what so. we're doing out here. We're, <laughs> we're, uh, it says uh, we have to preach the, the, the gospel, yeah. isn't it? It says we have to preach the gospel. Amen, amen. Get me, get me, uh, get me uh, First Corinthians 9 and verse uh, 16. Yeah, so you say you go to church. Really, the church is right here. Wherever you are preaching the word would be the church, but it has to be in the right name. Do you understand? So, for example, church, if you go to church, they're going to say his name is Jesus Christ. Even in my Bible, it says Jesus Christ, but it doesn't have a J because my Bible is, is uh, 1611. Do you know about that, yeah? So, look, for example, it says Esau. Jesus. Uh, uh, bring that one yeah. up. Bring this that one up. First Corinthians chapter nine, yeah. verse sixteen. Yeah. For though I preach the gospel, yeah. I have nothing to glory of. Yeah. For the necessity is laid upon me. Yeah. Yea, woe is unto me if I preach it's not the gospel. gospel. So we have to preach the gospel. Yeah. It'll be woe. Yeah. Yeah. Woe means we destruction time. under the us. <laughs> we don't. So <laughs> if we. With what we know, if we're not out here teaching, it's woe unto us. So we don't want to be on the wall side. You know what I'm saying? So look, look. Here, here in Matthew, yeah, chapter 1 and verse 21, yeah, it says, Jesus, it says, I E S U S. So in this book, yeah, the 1611, got it? The 1611 edition, it doesn't have no J's. So his name can't be Jesus. So if you're if you're calling on if you're when you pray to the Father, you have to pray through so-called Jesus, don't you? You have to pray through his son. But if his name is Jesus, if 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 his name is not Jesus, sorry, who are you praying to? Or who who are you who who's your intercessor for you? Do you understand? So basically, Jesus can't be his name because the letter J was only invented about five to twenty years ago. Do you understand? So get me a Matthew 18 and verse 20. Yeah, Matthew 18 and 20. This is what I'm trying to say to you about where you... Uh, can you listen to Acts 4 and 12? Acts 4 and 12. Go on. Read this one. 18 and 20. Yeah? This is Matthew chapter 18, yeah. verse 20. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, yeah. there am I in the midst of them. So where two or three are gathered together in his name, in my name. So the name is very crucial. You know, there am I in the midst of him. So if Jesus is not his name, if you're in church praying to Jesus and everyone's singing and dancing and praying, mm -hmm. if his name ain't Jesus, who are you praying to? Can't teach you me. You understand? Well, this is 
Acts chapter 4 and verse 12, yeah? Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So there's no other name given among heaven whereby we must be saved. So when they say the name is very crucial, yeah? under heaven, yeah. <laughs> so what's his name? Do you know his name? Yes, exactly, but that's not what the Bible says. The Bible, because obviously, do you know that the Old Testament was written in uh, Hebrew, and then the New Testament was written in Greek. So Jesus, yeah, and Hebrew, Salakia, and yeah, Salakia. I said that wrong. My bad. So really and truly, you have two different languages here translating into English. So in the Hebrew, what was the Most High's name? No, no, the Most High, not, not, not Jesus. Well, yeah, God was a title. In, it's in the beginning, it said God created the heaven and the earth. When you go into the Hebrew, it's Elohim, Elohim, or Elohim, really, yeah? So that means God's. That doesn't mean God with a with a plural uh, singular. I will read it deeply. Psalms 83 and verse 18. Yeah. That men may know yeah. that th th thou whose name is alone, Jehovah, yeah. art the Most High over all the earth. Yes. Yeah, so remember, there's no J. That is not. It's I. I hova. Yeah. I hova. So if there's no J. And it, so, like, this book was written thousands of years ago. Yeah. The Psalms. I will have a look into that verse again. Yeah. You know? And secondly, get me a... Uh, so, last one, I need to go out. Uh, three or so, please, thank you. Quickly. Uh, two more, two more. Um, get me uh, Acts 4. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'll pay Carl, get that one. So, no, it's very important, the name. Very, very important. So you can't be saying Jesus is God when he has an actual name. Yeah, no, wait, wait, wait. This is more important. So like, this is very important. For... This is the book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 7. Yeah. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God, Yahweh, thy power in vain. For Yahweh will not hold him guiltless yeah. that take his name in vain. So, so we can't take the name of the Most High in vain. That's, Any name that's, yeah, we can't say Jesus and, and, and God. We need to know his real name. The, the Most High's name is Yahweh. That's in Hebrew. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Yeah? This is how it's written, look. That's right. Yahweh. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and the son's name is Yahweh Shai. You see it? Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. What's yeah. the name? So, so sir, there was another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Last one, last one. Go this go is on. Acts chapter this one, twenty. This one. Yeah, leave that one. Go Acts go on. chapter twenty-six and verse fourteen. Yeah. And when we were all fallen to the earth, yeah. I heard a voice speaking unto me. And saying in the Hebrew tongue. In the what? In, in the, the Hebrew, Hebrew tongue. tongue. Yeah. So, so, why persecutest thou me? Yeah, well, basically, basically the Hebrew. Yeah, the Hebrew, the Hebrew tongue. tongue. This is the Hebrew. Yeah, that was okay. that was that was so-called Jesus speaking to Paul in the Hebrew tongue. Yeah, so it's very important. You got the channel, yeah? You got our channel? No, we I gave not. you a thing. All right, look. Before you go, one more. Leviticus 19, verse 27. Mine of Israel. YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. The line of Israel, London. Oh, yeah, it's under. Yeah? Right, yeah. My last one, yeah, because we've gave you a we've gave you a testimony about the name of the, of, of of Jesus. Yeah, and the law. I have we can't blaspheme it. So this is actually a commandment that we need to keep. Yeah, yeah we need to keep these commandments. Yeah, go on, read that. This is the book of Levit Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 27. Yeah. Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, neither shalt thou mark the corners of thy beard. So we're not allowed to round the corners of, do you know when you go to the barbers and they line it up and they make it, yeah, we're not allowed to do that. Yeah, and we're not allowed to what? Mark the corners of thy beard. We're not allowed to shave off our beard. 
you, we can trim it down, but you can't cut it. You can't cut the line. Yeah, that's a commandment. You know? Yeah. So you know the thing is that the pastor's not going to teach you this. The pastor's going to say, do you know what? Come as you are. You can be however you are. But you're, we're meant to keep the commandments, right? That's just that's it. Go on, get me twenty-two forty. And, and remember, in the church, they will only teach you the ten. They won't show you the other commandments throughout the whole of the Torah. So you have to read it for yourself as well yeah. to understand what are laws such as the commandments. Yeah, that's not dead. There's more than ten commandments. Mm. It says that man and man can't lie down together. Man can't be gay. That's not in the ten commandments. You know? It says we must have peace or love for love. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Yeah. I need to go. Yeah. All right, well, last one. Yeah. The word of God okay, is... Okay, last one. Is, my wife is waiting for me. 22 yeah. and verse 14. Go on, go on. This is Revelation chapter 22 verse 14. Go on. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Blessed are who? Blessed, Blessed are, are they that do his commandments. His commandments. Yes, Go on. That they may have right to the, the tree, tree of, of life. life. That's right. And may enter in the, the in through the gates into the city. That's right. So we're blessed when we keep the commandments. Don't let the pastor read it for you. You need to read it yourself. Mm -hmm. Where's your father from? Father. Yeah, so you are an Israelite according to the Bible. So only, so only the blacks, so yeah. the Negroes, yeah. right, and the in in Hispanics, yeah. uh, Hispanics yeah. and the Native Americans, and the, we are the, the real Israelites. Sister, come, come right. through. The, yeah. the, the, them, them, them guys up there, the Jewish guys with the, with the twirly whirly things, mm -hmm. they are not Israelites. That's right. We are. They're the fake ones. We, no, no. Apocalypse. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Have a good weekend. Yeah, God bless you. Too, man. And keep, it, keep the Sabbath holy. The Sabbath is today. Come from us. from uh, Jason. Jason. Yeah, it's from uh, Friday, yesterday night, Friday sundown to Saturday sundown is the Sabbath, the seventh day. That's part of the commandment. Keep it holy, yeah? Much love, brother. Take care now, yeah? Ciao. Tell her what, that's it, we'll praise the Diyar Bash, you know, shy, man. You know, he come up before, I remember his face still. Mm. I think he was with a sister last time, still. So yeah, man, beautiful, man. Uh, so yeah, what was I getting into? Uh, examining ourselves, man. We need to examine ourselves daily, man, whether we be in the faith, man. So if we're not reading and we're not doing the things that we're supposed to be doing, like keeping our household in, in check and in order, do you know what I mean? We're not going to be, we're, we're not going to be hot like the Most High wants us to be, man. We want to be on fire mm. for the Most High. That right. everything that we do <laughs> is for, in might, like, for Him. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. Uh, get me a uh, bubble How you doing, sister? You alright? Do you believe in the Bible? You know, that's what I was saying yeah. earlier, man. A lot of us either want to go with the oppressors, then read the book yeah man and that's a lot that's a few now we've heard today do you believe in the bible no, no you know but that's what the oppressors done to our people man the oppressor has kind of turned it all upside down and made it so that it's like a stumbling block to our own people but obviously the most high did that the most high used these other nations to make this Bible a stumbling block to our own people knowing that this is really the only way that's going to get us out of this situation that we're in is by coming back to it man do you know what I'm saying go and read that thing. this is Ecclesiastes 8 verse 5 whoso keepeth the commandment yeah. shall feel no evil thing yeah. And a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. That's right, man. So yeah, if you keep the if you keep the commandments, you're not gonna feel an evil thing. The Most High will put that 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 grace and that mercy on on you in the time of trouble, man. When the tribulations come, you know, and everything's gonna start going pear shaped and all, you know, the Most High will look upon you because you've been looking upon Him. You know, because you reverenced him as a father and that you've kept his commandments, he's gonna treat you as a son, man, and give you your your reward. Do you know what I'm saying? Your inheritance, oh. which is the, 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 the tree of life, the, is the, the, to go through the gates. Do you know what I mean? But it's not gonna be easy, man. You're right, sister. How you doing? Okay. 
to me to eight. Yeah, go on. Because to every purpose there is time yeah. and judgment. Therefore the misery of man is great upon him. For he knoweth not that which shall be. For who can tell him when it shall be? There is no man that hath power over the spirit to retain the spirit. Neither shall he, neither hath he power in the day of death. And there is no discharge in that wall. Neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it. That's right. And that's what I asked you to bring that earlier. I actually asked you to bring that one out earlier, which is mighty still. Because everything is of the Most High, man. We can't control what we're doing out here, man. The Most High has the ultimate, ultimate, um, yeah, the ultimate decision on what, what, what we're going to be doing. But, you know, all of all, you know, that's why no matter what, like you said in uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 9 and 10, whatever we do, we have to give it our all, man, you know? That's all we can do out here. Uh, I think we can do some sort of and uh, five copies of sure. This is Psalm. This is Psalm 103 and verse 7. This is Psalm God. chapter 100 and verse 5. God. Yeah, man, so... How you doing, bro? You all right? Yeah, yeah man. Was that cometic? No, it's not, it's not. It's not. Okay. Well, well, well where you, where's your father from? This is the, this is the main reason why we're up here. It's strictly about where your father from. Africa. No, I no, but you're... Jamaica. Yeah, Jamaica. So, yeah, so Africa is a continent. Yeah, we know that. Before Jamaica, where was we? Africa. Yeah, so we was, well, ta we was, was taken Africa. there. The whole world was yeah, yeah, you, could, you could say that. You could say that. Yeah, because come from Africa. What it is is our stand, our face is the Bible. So when you talk about that, that that's, we can agree with that because when the earth had the flood, yeah. Noah and his three sons repopulated. Yeah. Do you think that that story is real though? No, 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 no. Don't you think yeah. that? Do you think that story is real though? Yeah, yeah. Do you think it's fabricated? No, no, no. This is what I'm saying. It's not fabricated. Yeah, and put them in there. Hey, can you tell her Yeshua's name? She don't, she don't to me. I tell her about Genesis 6. So you like, like Jews? You like, yeah. like a... Yeah, where the Israelites? Israelites. Tell her about Isaiah 45, 7. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, who are you talking to? Is that TikTok? Is that TikTok, yeah? No. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I didn't know if these books are real, though. No. Whether it's the Quran or the first Peter. What makes them, what makes them, what makes them, what makes them, as we all know, what makes them... I can't wait on that. So, what we do, yeah? Any question you ask, we're gonna deal with it. Read a book. Scripture. We're not gonna give but you. How do you own. know your? How do you know your scripture is official? Uh, get me after that. Get me um, uh, Psalms 12 and 6. You know what I'm saying? Pity, pity. Because, so Psalms chapter 68 and verse 11. God. The Lord gave the word. Yeah. Great was the company of those that published it. So the Most High gave the word. Mm. And great were the company of those that published it. Okay, so James obviously, man. King James didn't write this book. Okay. He got it translated from different languages into English. Okay. Different scrolls. You get it? Okay. Go on, okay. read this one. That's true. No, go on. No. Then, I just, then I just established Second, another thing as well, yeah? When we was asking you where's your father from, yeah, yeah. your forefathers, they don't just come from Jamaica and just slavery and violence. I know that. They, they've got a deeper history. Of course I know that. And their history is what we're, we, 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 we found the, out that, that these men in Jeremiah, these ones that were getting persecuted and yeah. enslaved, Daniel got thrown in, yeah. a, in a prison in with yeah. lions. Yeah. This happens to us and it's the same spirit. The spirit is going on, of course. Right. Oh, it's no. the beast, the belly of the beast. Remember, that's that's why we know right. that this is but, 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 okay. So, Wait. see, like, the argument with the Quran and whatever, the Bible and all these things, yeah? Why do you think there's such a big uh, division between so much stigma? Religion? How come they can't come together and be one piece? Because, right. because if it's all the one, if it's all the one why? Group, but because we're all why different. We're all, why we're because all we're all different nations. Do you understand? We're human beings, though. No, no, we're different nations. Human beings. What are what are we? Yeah, what yeah. are we all Because it was all of the Most High. <laughs> but look, one, one more yeah. that before we go. Because 
he gave you about that. This is the one I wanted. Go on, go on. This is Second Peter chapter one, verse twenty. Yeah. Knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of, of any, any private, private interpretation. interpretation. Yeah, so this, none of this is private. This private. Is, yeah. public, public to the world. Yes, go on, go on. Mm -hmm. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So, so basically, just hold what you got, hold what you got. So, so basically, this is not of the will of man. This is of the of the Most High. He gave it to men to write it down. So all the prophets like Isaiah, Jeremiah, you know, in Quran they will say the same thing like like Muhammad got the the the, the, the prophecy. But there's no prophecies in the Quran. Are these people? Well, so why do we say black people are the first Israelites or the people of so Africa? called the black people? That's a race card that's been put on. Yeah, it's a color. That's a new that's a new concept. That's a new concept, right? The color scheme is a new concept, right? Yeah, yeah. Forget the color scheme. Yeah, yeah. Let's say Africa or whatever, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why alright, cool. Why so see that like the Torah, would you vouch for that? Yes. The Torah you vouch for that. Yes, yes. But it's the Bible you vouch for that. Yeah, so you've got the Torah and the Tanakh. And the Torah would be the, the, the first five books of Moses. Okay. And then the Tanakh would be the prophets. Okay. Yeah, the old the whole of the Old Testament. Okay. But we believe in the New Testament as well. Okay. Okay. See what you just read there, first Peter? Right? Yeah. You just said uh, the prophecies, they didn't when they when they came, no other book has got a prophecy of our nation. Okay. So this book belongs to us, us. Yes. because yes. it says that if we don't listen to yes. God's commandments, that this prophecy will happen. Yes. That's how so we know that, that this Bible is a real book, book. because, because it's, it's, it, it happened. It happened. It's real life. Right, right. Cool. So what about all the committed ones? Me, I just study committed and approved and that to me so, so look, that, 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 didn't, to me. that didn't happen. So you said more terrible people. Look, look, look. What it is? This is real book. Yeah. It happened. No, the, the, a guy with a snake on his head and a damn giraffe on his head. Don't watch the giraffe There's, though. No, no, bro. I'm just saying. I'm saying. I'm just saying. That, that didn't happen. It's symbolism. Yeah, I get that. I get that. So it might look like a snake or whatever, but it's a symbolism. That's a lie. So you don't, so you don't feel people want to people. Listen, listen. Those people, those people, they, those live. people, they live. Yes. Okay. So you're not denying that. We're not. We're not no, because we were, we were in Egypt yeah. as slaves. Do you from, understand? From, your biblical, from, your from the Bible, yeah, but from hear this, hear this. I went to the British Museum a few weeks ago, and it even shows that on their on their scripts as well, on their hieroglyphs, it shows that they had people in captivity. So what are you? So I don't know about that. No, but it shows you. I can get it up now. If you get it up now, uh, uh, slaves in Egypt right, cool. on hieroglyphs. Uh, so what but was the other what, thing? These are the same people uh, that started. Uh, but these yeah. people were people that studied. How did, how did the pyramids uh, with the stars? How was the pyramids in tune with the stars? Yeah, but that's what they that say. That's what they say. They, they, how is it fact? Because who can they, factually they, prove that? Archaeologists. Who, who? Archaeologists. So who are these archaeologists? Same people that's running this world now. But they're not so stupid. you listen to them. They're not stupid. They say that they, they went to the moon. They say they I don't went know to about the moon. that. I don't know about that. Yeah, but, but they're the same people. Yeah. One second. If they're meant to have built pyramids yeah. that can align with stars, stars yeah. who told them to do that? God. God, God, God no, because right? they said that they wait, said wait, wait, that wait. it was heaven on earth. Okay, who so told them to do that? Of the gods, the gods give them the, the coordinates to put they, their pyramids. Their god was Amin Ra, which was the sun. Okay, so then why comes their god hasn't saved Egypt? No, Egypt but it's not, no, 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 wait, 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 but you get this It's not a god, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's no god. But it's, you ain't even answering science, the question. You can't, you can't answer the question. Go on. If their science mm. have given them the benefits to put them mm. things in to connect with the stars and mm. the gods and that, mm. right? Why is Egypt a pile of sand today? Because it's been mashed by so much different uh, societies have come and took over. Why hasn't the God saved them? No, because they don't, there's not a God, it's, the, it's, the, it's natural. It's Why not. didn't the natural save them? You can't, you, you, you lose, you lose more. Yeah, you they lost, lost. There you go, there's no power in it. So is that all? So is there a whole, where we, where we, their whole where we, civilization? You don't read these books down, you put your limit to them out. I power. get that. Their whole civilization. Their whole civilization is desolate. Right okay. Now. You can go and see ruins still. Yeah, yeah, yeah we yeah. get that. But the ultimately, you know what it is? So Jesus, is it Jesus? Huh? Is it Jesus going to come back and save us? 
Yes, yes, yes. There was there was a man that walked this earth called Yahweh Shai, so called Jesus, yeah, who 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 had no sin in him, who was who was clean and who and he was a lamb as, as a sacrifice yeah. for the children of Israel. Okay. That's what the whole Passover is about. Because in the Passover they were in Egypt and then they, and Pharaoh didn't let him go. Yeah. You know Moses, Moses let my people yeah. go. They didn't. So when they left yeah, it was to keep the part that was around Passover time, and they had to put the blood on the doorpost okay. of the of the lamb, which yeah. represents Yahweh Shai. Okay. So he was always going to be our sacrifice for us, okay. but it's not for the whole world, okay. like what the Christians believe. Okay. Do you understand? So you and the Christians have a some sort of uh, yeah, we're not Christian. Christian is a religion. This is not. This is our is heritage. It? No, but it's a religion. Sirach 24 There's nothing wrong with saying it's a religion, it's a way of life. Yeah, religion, you, you, you've done this with religion, yeah. actually means to just do like something religi religious, religiously, like to do it repetitively. But I think sometimes you need to sometimes to make yeah, it the truth yeah, of yourself. Yeah, of course, no? but you need discipline. Like, like, like you, you need you, discipline. You into the scriptures, yeah. it's making you more religious. If you really just need to go over it, Listen. you've got to understand it more. It's discipline. Right? It's yeah. discipline. Okay. If you do something every day and yeah. you're disciplined to it, then you're gonna keep keep this life. For example, you, you become a king of knowledge by repeatedly taking in information. Yes. Our brains are yes. like a bobo. Yes. They well, they, it read. depends. You what keep on reading this to your brain. You no, don't have no, to read. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hear, hear me out. It depends what you're learning. It depends what you're learning. It depends what you're learning. You need to repeat this. You gotta understand it. A master teacher, yes, yes, understand it. Yes, we get that, but what I'm trying to say is we're, we're repetitively reading our Religious. heritage, our heritage. There's nothing to do with religion, okay? Like the brother said, this prophecy, these prophecies mm. that our people go through, mm. it's only us that went through it. Yeah. These are in the Bible, it was prophesied in. In uh, Moses' time, that this was oh, so you're trying to say the Jews, Hello. yeah, that was that was getting parted out of Egypt. Yeah. Black Sorry, so the people that was getting parted out of the, the Israelites, the, yeah. the Jews, was getting parted out of. Uh, thing. Remember they said they went through the yeah, the, yeah, sea, the Red Sea. The sea, yeah, sea. Yeah, yeah. Um, so then people was like the Israelites. Yeah, then it is. And the Pharaohs were the yeah. evil people that was They were the Hamites because remember yeah. we're different nationalities. Okay. So so Noah's three had three sons. Mm -hmm. Ham, uh, Shem, or Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Yeah. yeah. From these sons, the whole world was populated. Yeah. So so yeah, you have Kush. Oh, yeah, you have Kush. Right here, okay. These, these uh, dwell in the Africa, land of Africa. Yeah, this is Yeah, this is a picture. This doesn't mean that Shem was. Yeah, but these are, these are the people that was represented. These are what they represented on the walls of Egypt. Yeah, so I know. But it's all into leaves. It's all into leaves. Yeah, yeah into I leaves. get that. I get that. But the thing is, you can you read hieroglyphs? I'm on. All right. What and do they call it? What do they call it? What do they call it? Yeah, that's um, it. The son of Noah, the Progenitor, the of God. Yeah. Eagles, but it's just, it's just so they weren't eagles, but they were of. Not the same. Oh, the same God. So, so the Negroes okay. that were taken from West Africa yeah. to um, Jamaica and yeah, the Caribbean, yeah, yeah. They, were, they were not the same people as the, Ham 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 yeah. the, ha the Hamites. Sorry. It's just okay. 11 and 7. Exodus 11 and 7. I'll get, I'll get that. I'll get that. Oh, you can read that one first. Do the Tronomy 4 and 9. Yeah. Let's do a thing and do this. Yeah, yeah, go on. This is Deuteronomy 4, verse 19. 19. And lest thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven, yeah. and when thou seest the sun and the moon and the stars, even all the hosts of heaven yeah. should be driven to worship them. And that's what they ended up doing. Okay. That the most high made them do that yeah okay. worship the sun the stars okay. like Sirius so that, B and all that that's a, that's a bad thing to do it's yeah you can read it look, look, read and it. serve them and which, serve them go on. which the Lord thy God have divided unto all nations under the whole exactly. heaven so the most high gave that to them to deal with okay. we, we don't deal we don't worship stars and, and moons and that we worship the most oh, high so you, so you wait hold on hold on let me finish Oh, yeah, it, no, listen, let me finish. 
We don't worship the sun, the moon, and the stars. We worship the, the creator who created them. You understand? That's right. And the thing is, we don't worship it, but we reverence it. We, we, we know that the sun, when it rises and it sets, we can tell time by it. So, so when the sun goes down and it's night, that's a new day for us. Yeah, the, the moon determines what day of the month we're in. There's 30 days in the month. We have to observe these things. And the stars are the seasons on an exactly. agricultural exactly. vibe. Exactly. So we do understand we study that. It, but on a different Yes, aspect of yes. It. We don't worship don't, it. They worshipped it. They worship Ra, which is the sun god. They worshipped it. They actually get an Amun, which was like the hidden spirit and, and behind and it. And another reason what they done, why they aligned the stars with the, with the thing, because the pyramids are what? What are the pyramids? The pyramids are, are, are gravestones. Uh, but, uh, the pyramids are gravestones. The gravestones. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're tombs. The tombs. So they thought that that, that was an in, enchant, that was an enlightenment yes. for them to go yes. through the, the channel, to channel themselves yeah, to yeah. heaven. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so that was like the doors to heaven in there. It's in all there, for real and truly. It's it's all witchcraft. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. It's all wizardry. Yeah. Enchantment. Yeah. Paganism. Yeah. Enchantment. Okay. Paganism. Okay. Witchcraft. Okay. And this is this is, this is like this is Leviticus chapter oh. eighteen and verse three. Oh. After the doings of the land of Egypt, yeah. wherein ye dwelt, yeah. shall ye not do. Shall we what? Shall, shall ye, ye not, not do. do. Because we was in Egypt under bondage. So we, the Most High showed us when we come out, don't do what they did. Okay. Yeah, okay. And after the doings of the land of Canaan, whether I bring you, yeah. shall ye not do, neither shall ye walk in the ordinances. Exactly. And if you carry on reading in this chapter, they were incest, they were dealing with their brothers and sisters. Yeah, bestiality. Yeah, yeah, that's what the Egyptians were doing. Mizraim in, in the um, Hebrew means like between a rock and a hard place. Well, one more, yeah. well, well. Psalms 105, Psalms 105 well. and verse 23. Well. Israel also came into Egypt and Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham. Yeah. He And he increased his people greatly and made them strong. Then stronger than the enemies, he turned their hearts to hate his people and dwelt subtly with his servants. He sent Moses, his servant, and Aaron, whom he had chosen. They showed his signs, and among them the wonders of the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made it dark. He rebelled not. He and they rebelled not against his words. They turned the waters into blood and slew their fish the land brought forth frogs and in abundance in the chambers of their kings he spake and they came diverse sorts of flies and lice in all their coats and their fig trees and break their trees of their coats so, so so basically all these things happened in egypt do you understand and that was us that was us do you know what i'm saying well, listen, long story short, yeah, we're not Egyptians, we are Israelites. The, the 11, Exodus 11 and 7. So, the Israelites that was the same Israelites that was in Israel. Yes. So, what we're trying to get is. Yes, get down! Get down! Now! Now! The yeah, same way he destroyed uh, the Egyptians, yeah. is what he's going to do. He's going to destroy, destroy this thing. He's going to destroy Babylon. Yeah. That's right. And that's what's so happening now. Quickly, go on. Alexa, Exodus 11 and 7. This is Exodus 11, so, all verse 7. All is going on, but the words coming out. Go on. But against yeah, any of the people of Israel, shall not a God use like his tongue. So, it's a woman treat her with respect. Have you got like a YouTube? It's a woman treat her with respect. Find a few more lessons. I'm gonna check it out now. On YouTube, yeah. Yeah. You got a YouTube channel, yeah? Yeah, yeah. B I N E. Oh, 
I don't like it. I don't like what they're doing. I'm not scared to talk in front of them. Listen, what they're doing, that's I got nothing to do with us, man. No, but I don't okay. like that. She's a woman. Yeah, I know, but you know what? What can you say, man? Hey, that was good, though, bro. Yeah, listen. Tune in, tune in. That, that, if that was my son, I couldn't see them doing that to him. Listen, get me a uh, Zechariah 11 and verse 5. Listen, what we what, what we can see there, that, like that's it. not our people, really. You know, last time they, when they arrested somebody in Hackney, you know what five. they do? Zachariah. They took out needle and inject the boy. Yeah, yeah, come on, they're wicked, man. They get inject him. him. Verse, uh, it could be any of my children. Right. You see, because I opened my mouth. Yeah. The picker of the floor because I open my mouth listen, and say, I'm open. Listen, my mouth. I don't all this them. is in the Bible. Do you want to hear it? Listen, listen. Give me joke. It's because I said something. And you got a Zechariah Because I open my mouth and say something. I'm not scared. This is the book of Job, chapter 9, yeah. and verse 24. Go on. The earth is given into the land. The hand of the wicked, yeah. he covereth the faces of the judges thereof, yeah. if not where and who is he? So the earth right now is given into wicked people. Those people are just the minions. There's people that are actually above them right. that give out these orders. And not look, what she, what's going on with her now is nothing compared to what our people get. Yeah, right. We get gunned down in the street. We get gunned down in the street. Yes. It's black on black crime. Yes. There's actually a trident. Unfair justice. There's actually a, um, there's actually, um, police have a thing called trident, yeah, where it deals with black on black crime. So mm -hmm. they have an actual unit based for black on black crime. Go on, read this yeah, one now. They, they read said, this one. They said they're allowed to use injection. This is Zechariah. This. This, this, this is all in the Bible, though. This is Zechariah, chapter on. 11, yeah. verse 5. Go on. Whose possessors slay them and, and hold, hold themselves them not guilty. So there are possessors. They slay us and they hold themselves not guilty. They're not going to get done, done nothing for her. If she's broke her arm, they're not going to say that. No, she's re so. She resisted arrest. They'll say, sir, if I But, but, but listen, down and but listen down on it's her. worse with our people. Oh, look, that's if, good. That they're killing that they're arresting Yeah, that's, a, that's not our people. If it was a young, young, so called black brother or sister, they it would it's us. Yeah, they do worse. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. They're filming. They're filming. They're filming. If, is it 32, um, 32 and 7 or 7? 30 and 7. That's the 30 and 7, yeah. So, sister, where are you from anyway? Where's your father from? Jamaica. Exactly. So, yeah, the whole reason why we're out here is to show that our people in the Bible, all this stuff that's happening around us has been prophesied. And we are the children of Israel. You know, you know the stories of the Bible. You know, is uh, Moses let my people go? Who are those people? They're still here today. Them people are our people, the ones that are getting gunned down in the street, the ones that don't are uh, first to be, uh, uh, what was it, last to be hired, first to be fired. Do you know what I mean? Uh, call themselves black, Jamaican. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's why we're out here. Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. Yeah. They are all of them snared in holes yeah they are hid in prison houses yeah they are for a prey and yeah. none deliver it yeah for a spoil and we none save the store so we're the ones that are robbed and spoiled we're the ones that fill up the prison mm -hmm. they say yes. so-called blacks fill up the prison in america it's like 80 percent 80 90 percent and we're for a spoil they, they 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 prey on us and no one delivers us we have to go call and we get, we get, get, they get found not guilty, like the brother just read. But you know what? This has got nothing to do with us, man. But I did, I did, I did, I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Go on, read it. Chapter 30, verse 7. Go on. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies. So this, this was a curse on us. We the ones that are all hand behind the back, head on the floor, knee um, on the neck. You see George Floyd, yeah? But now it's starting to happen to our enemies. 
Do you understand? Yeah, the Most High is turning it all around now because it's the end times yeah. now, man. That's and why we need to wake up, go read. And on them that hate thee. And on what? And, and on, on them, them that hate thee. These people hate us. So now when it happens to them, we can't feel bad. No. You know what I'm saying? Karma, go give me Galatians 6 and 7. Galatians 6 and 7. Get me that, 6 and 7. Galatians. This is Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Yeah. Be not deceived. Yeah. God, God is not, not mocked. mocked. So be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. Yeah, go on. For whatsoever a man soweth, yeah. that That's shall he also reap. So whatever you put in the ground is what you're going to get out. This is what's happening, right? Yeah. Her forefathers probably had our forefathers in captivity. That's why this is happening to her. Definitely that girl there. Do you know what I'm saying? This is Matthew, Matthew chapter 12 and verse 25. Pick it up. And so called Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them every kingdom divided against itself yeah. is brought to desolation yeah. and every city and all house divided against itself shall not stand and, and if satan cast out satan yeah. he is divided against, against himself. himself that's right how right. shall then it's his it's kingdom stand Exactly, and that's what we're seeing now. Satan is is go is dividing against Satan. That's why, like you know, oh shit, man. See, this is what I mean. That's what happens, man. But this is Satan dividing against itself now. Do you understand? This is, Did you see that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, but this is what we have to see, man. Yes, brothers. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna walk fast. That, that she's yeah, the, when they get her back in that police contract. station. Hey. But listen, sister, man, this, yeah. this is deeper than that. We need to keep the commandments. You understand? Yeah? We need to keep the commandments. The only way that we can be saved from this as a people is by keeping the commandments. We need to trust in the Lord. Yeah? Uh, get me a, a, a Psalm 3 and verse 5. Yeah, that's why I was three of us five. And sister, do you go to church? But you believe in the Bible, you read your Bible, yeah? Alright, so so basically, how do we look how, get me first John to put the three and verse four? First John, because do you love God? Yes. Yeah, but remember love is just a word. You can say it, we need to do it. First John chapter 3 and verse 4 Whosoever committed sin transgresseth the law For sin, sin is the transgression, transgression of the law First John 5 and 3 if you, if you transgress the law, that's a sin yeah, that's what sin is. So sin is breaking the law of the of the Most High. So yeah, this would be a graven image, you know. But go on, read that. Read that. First, First John chapter five and verse three. Well, this is the love of God, yeah. that we keep His commandments, and, and His commandments, commandments are not grievous. grievous. So the love of the, to love God is to keep His commandments, that's right. and they're not hard. Grievous means they're not hard to do. Do you understand? Give me two two and me twenty two and verse five. So, so sister, yeah, get me that, get me that. Uh, it's not good. Exodus, yeah, Exodus 20 verse 4, we put it out earlier. It's not good to wear this. No? Yeah, no, hold that, hold that. Oh. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 5 and verse 8. Thou shalt not make thee any graven image. Any graven image, God. Or any likeness of anything that yeah. is in the heaven above yeah. or that is in the earth beneath yeah. or that is in the waters beneath the earth thou shalt not bow down thou shalt not bow down thyself to unto them nor serve them for i the lord thy god am a jealous god visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate so basically that's a graven image. Mm -hmm. That's a graven image. It's a cross. Yeah. I know it says bear the cross, you know, but it doesn't mean a physical cross. 
but on that cross is an image as well. Yeah. So that's even worse. It's worse. So, okay. so you need to. I, I thought it was a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it says we, according to God, and that's on the cross. Yeah, that's on the cross. That's on the cross. That guy, and that's not in the Bible. Yeah. That's not in the Bible though. yeah. Exactly. That's not yeah. So you, you need to get rid of that, sister. Yeah. That's a sin. Go on, go on, read this one as well. Johnny 22, verse 5. This is Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Go on. Read. Lucky, lucky. Deuteronomy chapter 22, and verse 5. Go on. Then it reads. Go, 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 the yeah. woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Yeah. Neither yeah, shall a man, man put, put on, on a, a woman's, woman's garment. garment. So what's, what what can man put on that's a woman's garment? No, but what is a woman's garment? Yes. And a skirt, yes. a long skirt. So it says, read that again now. The woman shall not, not wear, wear that which pertaineth, pertaineth unto a man. So what what's a, what does man wear? Yeah, so women can't wear trousers. This is in the Bible. Keep reading, keep reading. For all that do so. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. Read that bit again. Go on. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So all, if you do that, you're an abomination. And the Most High hates that. Get me that. Uh, Sirach 15 and verse 13. Yeah, the Most High hates abominations. So we... If you wear trousers, it's abomination. So we need to put that away. Sister, you need to be in a nice long dress and a nice long skirt. Yeah, see, that's beautiful. Uh, yeah, right. mm -hmm. So really, you could wear, if it's cold, you could wear them underneath. Like leggings underneath. underneath. Yeah, yeah. But you just have to... And what, and what number thing is that? When you, when you, when you, when you, when you do that, yeah. just pray yeah. like wrap your yeah. hair. Don't you yeah. pray wrap your hair. And, and yeah. pray yeah. and say sorry. And then yeah. Say sorry yeah. for the sins and repent for our sins and change up our ways. I'll do that. Because you, what's your nationality? Uh, I was born here, but my parents are from the West Indies. Okay, but according to God, do you know your nationality? No. no. No, God doesn't call them Jamaican in the Bible, does he? That's right. That's right. What does he call them? I'm going gonna, gonna to show you now. This is Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. And it says, And these be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? Unto all Israel. Jamaica. Unto all Israel. Israel. So Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Yeah. Was, was talking unto Israelites. Yeah, the Israelites. Israelites. Not the whole world. I didn't know they were called Israelites. Deuteronomy, 7. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Four. And it reads, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord, unto Yahweh. Thy power. Yahweh, thy power. We're holy. I mean, holy means separate. Set apart. So we're not meant to be like the others. The, Lord, the Lord's name is Yahweh. Yahweh, yes. Yahweh, thy power, have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. himself. Yeah. Above, above all people. Above what? Above all people yeah. that are upon, upon the face of the, of the earth. earth. So the Most High put the Israelites above everyone. That's right. You know, you know like if you, are you you're, you're a mother, ain't you? Yes. So if your children do bad, you're going to correct them, innit? Yes. That's what the Father has done to us as a nation. And your children are above the children that are the, the Indian and the Chinese that are across the road. That's right, right. that's right. There you go. Because that's, that's what, this is what happened to us as a nation. Yeah, and the Most High told us that this will happen to us. Moses told the Israelites, if we don't listen, that we're going to go into captivity. That's right. And we're going to lose our heritage. Right. And our heritage is these laws and commandments. You know, and our homeland as well. Your sister, you know in the Bible it tells us what we need to eat as well. What we can eat and can't eat. You, you, you don't eat pork, do you? Good, good. Like That's it. right. What about prawns? No, Crabs, no. lobster, none of that. That's good, man. So, so no crazy. So you eat fish with fins and scales only. Only with fins and scales. And, you know, you can have lamb, you can have beef, you know. You can have venison, you know, they're, the, they're, they're clean meats, you know, but we can't eat this abomination, you can't eat uh, uh, pork, you can't eat uh, camel, uh, you know, because these are our commandments, 
Get me a Syrac uh, 24 and 23. I was trying to get earlier. Uh, you still got that one as well. Yeah, so yeah, go back to that. Get the first Peter as well. This is another reason why you see Deuteronomy 22 and 5 says you shouldn't wear uh, trousers. There's, there's another one. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Zephaniah 1 and 8. Yeah, can you get that one? Book of 1 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Exactly. So women are meant to be a modest apparel. When when people when when our people wear our women wear the trousers and that it's all tight round uh, you know and it, it shows off things. That's not modest. Go on. With shamefacedness. With shamefacedness. That's and how you are. You've been very humble and shamefaced. And sobriety. Not with broided hair yeah. or gold or pearls pearls or costly array. Yeah. So that's it, that's it. So yeah man. That's another reason why we need to be more, uh, you know, keeping in these scriptures because when we don't do what the Most High wants us to do, He punishes us, just like a child, you know. If you don't listen, what do they say? If you if you don't hear, you must you must feel. You get me? Exactly. And that's what we did. We felt as a whole nation. You understand? So we need to come back to these commandments. Get that's that right. one, and then I'm going to pass it on, yeah? Sirach oh. 24 and 23. Go on. Book of Sirach, chapter 24, verse 23. Go on. All these things are the book of the covenant of the Most High Yahweh. So all these words are the, are the book of the covenant which the Most High gave to Abraham, Isaac, Jacob to give, and eventually to the Israelites. Yeah, go on. Even the law yeah, yeah. which Moses commanded for an heritage yeah. unto the congregation of Jacob. For an heritage. This is our heritage. This isn't just the Bible and everyone can be saved. This is our heritage. Can. Do you understand? So we need to come back to it, man. We lost our heritage. Yeah, we, we call ourselves black, we call ourselves Jamaican, uh, West Indian, but really the most high called us Israelites. That's you right. Understand? Yeah? You got any questions? Sure? Yeah, so we've got a YouTube channel. Yes. But you see. Yes, you you heard me screaming, yeah. That's what I was just about to say that. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Listen, much love, yeah? Shalom. Shalom, sister. Shalom. Take care. That's right. Bam, Yashua. Bam, Yashua. With all this madness going on around us, we're still going to edify the sheep. That's right. Come. Because you know, look, this is <laughs> hey, all praises. our people. This <laughs> is usually <laughs> our people in these positions, man. Come. It's a young girl, two young girls getting gripped up by the feds. You know what I mean? So all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Baharaka Kadash Khan. Yeah, and the Holy Spirit blessings, man. You know, and peace to Israel and the sh uh, Shalawan to the hopeful elect that are watching, man. So yeah, I'm going to pass it on. Hope hopefully, brothers and sisters were edified, man.